Today we're going from a normal phone photo to this. Hey there, my name is Ali, you can find all my work on Instagram in front of you and today we're gonna create that, what I call it, the through phone photo. Okay, all you need for this uh, edit is two images. The first one is like your hand holding a phone and the second one is like the photo you want to put it through the phone. But make sure that the two photos are shot in the same place with the same lighting and colors so it's easier for us in Photoshop. Okay, I'll start by dragging my photo to Photoshop. Okay, I'll do a few adjustments first. I'll unlock my layer. Then I'll press Ctrl and T. And like stretch it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the crop tool and make it instead of original ratio. I'll make it 4 by 5. Because this ratio like fits best with Instagram. Yeah, something like that. Then I'll just take this photo and make it a little bit large. Okay, and I'll try to center the sun as much as I can. Okay, this is the like the background. I'm gonna drag the other photo now. Okay, I'll press F so we get a larger canvas. Okay, now what I wanna do, I wanna cut the hands now. But uh, to do this, I'll use the pen tool and I'll just keep adding points all around my hands like that until I'm done with cutting my hand and the watch. I'm gonna skip forward this part. I'll make it like go fast forward just so we can save time for the video. Okay, now when you're done, you press right click and go make selection, press enter and then add layer mask. Now we masked out at the hand. I'm just gonna add this area I've, I missed. And just go on the mask, make sure it's black. Use a 100% brush, make it smaller and just delete. Okay, now we have the hand ready. Okay, I want to make it a little bit larger, something like that. I want to put it in the middle. To make sure you're like going right in the middle, just drag your ruler and just put it, it will automatically snap in the middle. So I can place the phone exactly in the middle. And one thing I noticed about the background, it's not straight line like you see. It's a little bit tilted down, so I'm just going to rotate it and increase its size. Something like that. Okay, now we have the hand, we have the phone. Maybe pull it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this layer below and I'm gonna hold Alt and just copy it on top. Now it's on top of everything. I'm gonna add a layer mask and then press Control I. This will invert it and make it invisible. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take my polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to draw where I want my image to be visible. You see I'm overlapping the finger but we will fix that. Okay, let's make it a little bit taller. Again we're overlapping the hand but we will fix that. And just wait, I, I press backspace if you made a mistake. And just make it. Okay, now we have the square. Here I'm gonna paint with my brush color white. Okay, then I'm gonna zoom in. And then using color black, I'll just 
raise the hand like that a little bit and to see you can like lower the opacity so you can see what's below and just like adjust it a little bit I pressed X to switch from black to white so I can bring back parts I deleted that I didn't want to delete okay now bring back the opacity up okay now if I want to move this and I move it will move everything but you can unlink the mask and stand on the layer itself now if I move it will only move what's inside so I'm gonna do it like that I want to center the sun a little bit okay that's good now we need to start coloring and adjusting everything the layer at the back I want it to be out of focus so I'm gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and then no I don't want to go too strong something like maybe 15 or 13 is good I guess or maybe 11 yeah now we blurred the background okay now one thing we want to add I'll add a curves adjustment to the background link it to it and I'll just make it dark like that I'm gonna hold alt and copy this same curves adjustment on top of everything and I'm gonna press alt and link it below now it's on the image in the middle because I want the middle and the back to be exactly the same but now as you see the hands look a little bit overexposed so I'm gonna also go to the curves adjustments on the hands but this time I'm not only gonna bring this down I'm gonna also bring a little bit of the highlights maybe this one a little bit stronger like that yeah that's good actually okay now we need to start coloring it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on top of everything and add a gradient map and then I'm going to choose this one is gonna be already built in in Photoshop. I'll move the magenta a little bit towards the blue and press OK. And then I'm gonna change this to soft light. Okay, you see what this does is it makes it like it's more of sunset. It's uh, it adds magenta and it adds orange, but it's too dark now because we made it soft light. So I'm gonna go to the magenta or the blue color I made. I'll move it a little bit back maybe to the magenta. And I'm just gonna brighten it up by moving it up left. Now I'm brightening it. But the color when the color is too strong or too weak, you go left and right. This is the saturation, left and right. And up and down is bright and dark. So uh, this color now, I believe it's too strong. I'm gonna go left a little bit. Left, left. And I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. And a little bit to the left. Okay, now we got our orange and we got our magenta. If we close it, you see the before and after. Okay, it made like already a little a lot of difference. Okay, uh, one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to the red channel. I'm gonna add in the shadows some cyan. You see, this is like adding cyan to the shadows, but I'm gonna add a little bit only. And I'm gonna add a lot in the highlights. Then I'm gonna go to the blue channel. I'm also gonna add blue to the shadows. I don't wanna add a lot. And I'll add a lot of yellows to the highlights. Something like that. Okay, let's see what that did. You see the before and after. It made some contrast, like by adding cyan next to red. One thing I noticed, I feel... Let's pull this one here. You see the phone is going like down to the right a little bit. I want it to be straight. So I'm gonna jump to the phone layer, this one. Yes, I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I'm gonna very slightly tilt it a little bit until it's straight. Okay, press enter, then I'll go. Yeah, much better, but it still needs a little bit of tilting. Yeah, like that, that's good. And then to get rid of the ruler, I just pull it away. Okay, I made a mistake actually. I forgot to rotate this one as well. So I'm gonna rotate this one as well. Okay, now it's good. I'll move it a little bit to the left because the left part, as you see, is more than the right part. Okay. 
Now it's good. One thing I wanna do, I'll try lowering the opacity. Actually, this one, no, it doesn't work. The problem is like mobile phones are not like that actually. They are not so bright from everywhere. Usually they are darker at the edges. So I'm just gonna add a layer on top of it. Make sure it's linked by pressing Alt and click, link or unlink. And I'm gonna use a brush. Make sure it's a soft brush. And I'm just gonna very subtle add black to the edges of the phone. It's like creating a vignette, but to the phone, not to the whole image. Something like that. It's okay if I go a little bit too strong because I can always go and lower the opacity. Okay, something like that. It's a little bit better now. It was like too bright, I guess. It looked a little bit fake. Okay. Now, one final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna pull my shadows a little bit down to increase some of the contrast and pull the highlights, make them stronger. And I'll just take the blacks Pull them up a little bit to fade the photo a little bit. Okay, now I'll just group these adjustment layers. Press Ctrl G to show you the before and after. This was like it was without any edits. This was the after. Okay, we can lower the opacity of this a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Now I'll do my final adjustments. I'll hold Ctrl, Alt and Shift together. Then I'm gonna press E. This will create a new layer on top of everything. Merged of all the layers below. So now I can go to filter, camera raw filter, and I can edit this layer immediately. Okay, I'm gonna pump up the clarity a little bit to make it more clear. Maybe increase the contrast to make it like sharper and a little bit of exposure. And I'll go to the sharpen, I'll add some sharpening. Then I'll go to the FX module. I'll add a little bit of dehaze, something like plus seven. Then I'll add a little bit of vignette. And I'm gonna press OK. Okay, I'll press Ctrl Z now. This is the before, this is the after. Before, after. This is like the camera raw filter I just made, the final adjustments. You can go creative with this like style of editing. You can do a lot of things like by holding the phone and like adding something. You can do it with like any background you want. However, this is like the end of this tutorial, so I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them down in the comment section. Thank you.